If you are wondering what the differences are between Airtable and Smart Suite, then you will want to keep watching. I'm going to compare the elements of the two platforms that stand out the most to me. Welcome to our channel where you will learn how to save hours of your time every single week. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business processes and no code consultant. If you have questions about streamlining your processes, send me a message or book a free consult using the link in the description below. Platforms are relatively similar in a lot of ways. They're both a relational database and they look a lot alike when you first open them up. Uh, they're structured in a way that they have workspaces which contain all of your bases and Airtable and solutions in Smart Suite. And then from there, within each base and solution, uh, they have the table again within Airtable and they have the apps within Smart Suite. Then from there, you have your records and your views and so on. So overall, the platforms are a lot the same, the structure, the layout, the way they operate and function. There's a ton of similarities. However, there is some very big differences as well, um, as far as what field types are available and the way that the automations function, uh, the automations that are available, the integrations and so on. So I will dive in a little bit deeper here shortly into what the differences are. Uh, as I just mentioned, there is a lot of similarities in SART as far as the views are concerned as well. So in Airtable, uh, there's the grid view, calendar view, uh, the Kanban view, uh, the card view, which is what uh, Smart Suite calls it. Uh, Airtable is called the gallery view. And they also have the list view in Airtable, which Smart Suite does not have yet. They have mentioned that they are going to potentially uh, create that view as well. Uh, but that will be further down the road um, as well in smart suite in their view section they have charts they have dashboards and they have a maps view as well that allows you to pull in the address field uh, and then it plots the addresses on a map for you all those things you can also do in Airtable, but that has to be done in the extensions field or rather in the extensions a portion of Airtable. So those are installable applications, but we will get to that shortly. Uh, the other thing is they both have mobile applications. Both operate similarly, uh, both pretty smooth and straightforward to use. So those things are comparable and they both also have APIs. If you're a developer or uh, if you want to be able to perform some sort of custom uh, functionality as well, there is the API available to you. Now I will get into the differences here between the two. I'm going to start with Smart Suite and kind of go through what I like more about Smart Smart Suite or where they are a little bit better in my opinion. And then I'll jump back over to Airtable and compare what the better parts of Airtable are. So um, to get started here, I will uh, get into the pricing a little bit, just do a, a high level overview of the pricing. So within the pricing, there's a lot of similar uh, packages that are available to you. They both have a free plan. Uh, in the free plan on Airtable, you're allowed five creators or editors. In Smart Suite, you're only allowed three. In Airtable, you're allowed uh, is unlimited solutions in the workspace. In Smart Suite, there's five and so on. You can see them here. Just go to the pricing pages on each platform um, and you can kind of go through and see what the differences are. But overall, there's a lot of similarities at each kind of level of the platform. Um, I'll open up the Smart Suite one here, show you that a little bit further. Again, it's a, a $0 for a free plan. And then there's a $10 team plan, $25 plan. And Airtable, there is the $20 plan, uh, which is a professional. And then there's the enterprise plan in both uh, Smart Suite and Airtable as well. In Airtable, I have heard that it is quite expensive. Um, I do not know exactly how much it is. You have to contact sales, so I would imagine it's a little bit more of a uh, little bit more of a difficult process. Where in Smart Suite, for an additional ten dollars per month per user, you can access their enterprise plan. So it's uh, available to you basically within a couple of clicks. So that's kind of handy. Um, but that's just a high level overview of the pricing section. As I mentioned, Smart Suite, they have workspaces, solutions, and then they have the apps. 
Airtable, they have the workspaces, they have the bases, and then they have the tables. So that's a similar structure, just different names. This is a smart suite here. Um, you can see the layout is uh, fairly similar actually to what Airtable's old view was. The only one of the differences is you access your various workspaces up here. So you only see the solutions that are within the workspace. So then you can just click into them and uh, add them as, uh, as needed. And then in Airtable, um, this is their new view and you, it's the same thing, only you can see the workspaces kind of across each level here and there's different views. So um, again, so I'll click into the base with Airtable and I've already clicked into the solution with SmartSuite. So you can tell they look pretty similar. Uh, here's the table across the top and smart suite here's the apps across the top and so on views are on the left side here both our table and smart suite and that is kind of where the similarities are at you can tell they look both very similar in their grid view and so on so now i'll go a little bit deeper here into what actually makes them different as far as functionality is concerned so uh, the big thing here is the number of field types that are available in smart suite uh, I believe there is about 40 or 41, 42, maybe different field types in SmartSuite. Where in Airtable, there's about 28. Um, in Airtable, there is a barcode field type. Not sure if there's, I'm missing anything else. SmartSuite at this point does not have a barcode field type. So if that's important to you, something to keep in mind. Also in SmartSuite, there's a lot more field types available to you. Uh, I will get into some of the bigger ones here. Uh, a big one being the Smart Dock. It is a basically a document editor built in at the record level, which is really cool. So you can add different headings. Um, I know there is the rich text uh, field type uh, inside of Airtable and it could perform some similarities, but there's absolutely some significant differences here too. And I'll show you why. If you hit the slash here, um, you can mention different users within it. You can actually link to uh, other records, you can embed images, uh, videos, attachments, insert dates. There's uh, a ton of different things that you can do within uh, the smart docs field type within smart suite. So as I said, essentially works as a document editor, see of different styling options across the top here. That's pretty neat. Really cool. I'm sure there's a ton of different things that you can come up with to do with that. Uh, the other big one for me is the sub items. What that allows you to do is add, let's say if you have an invoice, this record could be uh, an invoice, and then you could have your line items within it right here, where in Airtable, you would have to set up a separate table, link uh, each record back to the invoice. So you'd have to have your invoices table, and you would have to have your line items table as well, that link. So that is a little bit different, super handy. And the other thing that's really cool, Smart Suite is currently on, uh, working on enhancing the sub items field. So it's basically going to work exactly like a linked record would from another uh, application, only it's embedded directly into the field already connected to this record. So that's really cool. Looking forward to that one. A couple other ones that are very useful within Smart Suite is there's actually a signature field so you can sign uh, right in line you don't have to upload a image attachment where you would an air table if you had a, if you got a signature uh, through some other application whether it's fill out or jot form it would have to be uploaded as an image to air table smart suite you just add the field and they can sign in line or type in line um, and there's also a time tracking field as well so you can start stop the the timer to track and add up hours spent or time spent on let's say a specific project or task what's really cool about smart suite is just all the range of field types there's plenty more again there's a, like a specific address field type where there isn't that in their table um and and the list goes on and i'll let you explore that for yourself the other thing i really like about smart suite is there's this power search tool um an air table there is search functionality built in but you have to go into a specific base and then do the search. And then you can search for the different fields or records and so on. Um, but you have to be in specific view uh, to be able to really get the, 
quality out of the search function. Where in Smart Suite, I click on this, and as it says right here, you can literally search for anything. So you can search on uh, views, records for different files, uh, information within the records, fields, uh, members, and you can also search across all of your various solutions. It doesn't have to be in that specific solution in that specific uh, app or table. Um, so that is really neat. That is something that your table should definitely look at incorporating within their platform. Another huge thing that is available within SmartSuite is being able to send emails within a record. So currently in both applications, you are able to send emails by automation that pulls in dynamic information from the records. But in SmartSuite, what is really, really cool is if you go up to the add and view comments toggle up here uh, in the settings option, you can turn on emails. I already have it turned on. And if you go over here, click new email, um, you can dynamically send emails to the specific person within that record. Uh, you can add manual emails. Uh, and again, every piece of information that is within this record, you're able to pull in uh, to the email. Uh, you can create templates as well if it's uh, something that you send on a regular basis. So this is a really cool feature that is currently in alpha um, stage, but it is coming along quickly like all features within Smart and Suite. Another really, really cool thing, the My Work button up here is the check mark. What that allows you to do, as long as you have a status, a due date, and an assigned to field. So you need three things, status, due date, and the assigned to field within your table or within your app. Um, you will have this My Work view um, available to you. So what that allows you to do is from every table or app, from every solution within your workspace, if you have something that is assigned to you that has not yet been completed, it will show up here. So you can see the assignments that I have available to me. And this is not even within this specific solution. It's a different one. So that's really handy. And then you can see and view the closed assignments as well. You can see what's up today, um, upcoming in the future, and then down the road or no, no due date. So that's really cool too, how it kind of aggregates or rolls up every task that uh, you have to perform across your entire workspace into one view. Um, this is something that you know far exceeds what Airtable has and for task management, project management, anything like that. This is super, super helpful and super handy. Just a couple more things here about uh, the pros of Smart Suite. What you can also do, you can link records to other solutions. So I don't even have to add the table within this specific solution to be able to link to the record. Um, if I have another solution within this workspace that has a record that I need to link to, I can link to it. That's no problem at all. I can bring in the information where your table's downfall is you would have to sync the entire table um, to that specific base. So that's something that's really handy, really cool as well. And the last thing that I want to touch on here is the template library that SmartSuite has available to us that they've created. It is unbelievable. If you just go in and click uh, add new solution here from your workspace, you can start with the template. And there is somewhere around 200 plus templates available to you. Uh, down the left side of this view, you can see how they're organized and categorized um, by different processes, industries, and so on. And they're really, really good. Uh, they're ready to go basically once you install them. A um, few edits here and there, and you can basically use them right out of the box. A lot of these platforms and softwares that have these templates available to us are pretty basic or they require a lot of customization. Uh, SmartSuite has put a ton of time and a lot of thought into this and it is exceptional, uh, the templates that they have available. Okay, now on Airtable, um, obviously it's been around around 10 years, I believe at this point. Uh, it's a much more mature product. And it, uh, it does seem to operate um, a little bit more smoothly. It seems to be a little bit faster. There's fewer bugs. Um, and I'm not talking poorly about SmartSuite here. I know they're really working hard on uh, 
getting their their system and the back end stuff that I don't even understand um, working better so that there's fewer of these bugs and it's a more seamless um, operation. Uh, but that is one thing I have noticed so far is their table's just a little bit more smooth at this point in time. Um, so that is definitely a, a big, uh, big part of why I'm still using Airtable and why I still like Airtable for, for some cert, uh, certain work. The other thing is the automations available in Airtable. They're a lot more powerful right now in the sense that there's more native integrations available and there's just a few things that it does uh, differently, does better um, at this point in time. That's not to say that Smart Suite won't catch up here in the nearest future, uh, but the automations are just a little bit more advanced in Airtable and what they uh, connect to natively. That being said, Smart Suite, along with Airtable, both have the Zapier and Make integrations where you can perform basically anything that you can dream up. Um, but that is just one thing to keep in mind. Uh, also, the interfaces within Airtable, Smart Suite does not yet have something like this. I'm sure that is coming in the future too. Uh, but right now, Airtable's interfaces is definitely something that is a, a step above and that makes it uh, a little bit more uh, user-friendly for your end users if you're building this stuff for clients or you need someone um, who needs just a really basic and simple view and you don't want them to have access to uh, your back-end data. So as I mentioned, there's more integrations at this point in time with Airtable. There's a lot of other software and apps that connect to it and have connected to their API. Um, so let's use software, for example, um, being a kind of the front end of Airtable, uh, job form, fill out, which is a, another form builder. Those are all integrations that work extremely well with Airtable at this point in time. That being said, I know for sure software and fill out, the other form builder that I mentioned, um, they are currently working on an integration with Smart Suite. So I would imagine sometime probably later this spring, early summer, May, June, somewhere in that time frame, uh, we will have the integrations available to us to be able to use software and fill out with Smart Suite. So uh, they are catching up quickly in, in that sense. Uh, and then I want to touch on the extensions within Airtable. At this point in time, Smart Suite does not have the extensions available to us. Airtable has quite a few extensions available, uh, such as the scripting block, and I'll touch on that shortly. Uh, but yeah, you can ins install a lot of extensions within Airtable, um, where Smart Suite does not have that available to us. And the scripting extension, so where you can connect to either Airtable's API or external APIs uh, from other softwares right in your base. Uh, that is not available at this point in time within Smart Suite. But again, I know they are discussing it and it will be coming um, hopefully in the near future sometime. Um, so that is basically it. Something I, else I do see here, there's a page designer that is available within Airtable extensions. They also, Smart Suite also has a uh, page designer or document designer that they are working on as well. It's also an alpha stage, so it's coming along and I'm sure will be operational very soon. So looking forward to that. Other than that, those are basically all of the comparisons and the major points that I thought it would be important to touch on and discuss. Yes, there are some bugs right now, but I know they're working really hard directly um, with, I believe, AWS to, uh, to make some improvements, to make them, uh, you know, compete with Airtable on, on that element too. And I think once they do get there, I think Smart Suite will uh, start to take over for a lot of people because their, uh, their customer service, the way they interact with their partners, their customers, their end users um, is, is pretty unbelievable. And I hope they keep it up there. There's a you know, overall in the future, in the long run, I think that will be the platform to use. But at this point in time, they're both really solid. Um, they can do a lot of the same things, but there's definitely, you know, smaller little features that uh, make one a little bit better over the other, depending on your specific use case. Always, I've got a link in the description below. There you can book a free consult if you have any questions. That's it for this video. Please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more tips, tricks, and tutorials in the future.